Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Crypto Flight Edition. It is your fellow passenger stop, and we have some technical details or some interesting details, rather, on the Dogecoin cryptocurrency. Guys, I'm really excited about this video because what we're going to show you is the RSI, the relative strength in the market in comparison to the price action. I think this is going to be interesting. I'm going to do the best that I can to explain it for everyone to be on the same page. It's a little bit messy, so let's see what we have. Lawyer subscribers, welcome back. If you're new here, consider joining us after we go over this pretty interesting details it's just technical details by the way interesting details sorry so let's see what we have in the charts and let's dive right into the charts here shall we all right so today's march the 24th 2021 and the current cryptocurrency price is going to be five cents it's down approximately 1.1 percent for the day okay all right, ladies and gentlemen, Dogecoin Army, welcome back. Uh, so hopefully this will be as simple as I possibly can. But before, I, the chart looks completely different. And what I've done was I've separated the chart into two with the price action. And then the price action is just overhead. Um, and I've separated the downtrend from the uptrend. The downtrend is red. The uptrend is green. And the only thing that we look for for an uptrend is higher highs and higher lows for downtrend. The opposite lower lows lower highs and let's reveal the charts that's it it's not simple but i'll explain everything so let's just start with the price action before we get into the rsi because i think the rsi if you don't understand like technical analysis um it's probably going to be a little bit difficult but again i'm going to do my best shot to explain it for everyone to understand now the downtrend can be identified with the again the red path down here i guess let's just kind of get down in there so you can see it let me just show everyone uh the the red squiggly lines i guess you can call it is a downtrend and the only thing that you look for in a downtrend is lower lows and lower highs or simply to just walk down the stairs okay if you notice dogecoin back in uh, july 2020 was walking down the stairs okay and of course to separate the downtrend from an uptrend you're looking for the total opposite uptrend walking up the stairs higher highs higher lows i think it's pretty clear dogecoin has been walking up the stairs hopefully around the same page yes good all right perfect now the most important line is this vertical line right here this vertical line separates the uptrend from the downtrend and this vertical line separates the uptrend from the downtrend from one vertical sorry horizontal level in the rsi so let's get to the rsi to see where this vertical line separates the two okay so let's get in the rsi so here we are ladies and gentlemen what you are witnessing on the screen is it's, it's a multiple boxes i'm going to explain everything so the downtrend is pretty self-explanatory whenever the rsi so for those of you who don't know what like the rsi it's just a relative strength when the rsi is below this level down here at about like 30 that means dogecoin is oversold and that means nobody's really buying dogecoin is probably in a downtrend um, and when dogecoin is above this level up here at about the 70 that means too many people are buying dogecoin and it's probably going to go to the downside at some point now there's one line in the sand that separates the downtrend okay from the uptrend okay now these warning boxes also mean you see these little warning boxes they mean something and i guess before we get it too far into the rsi hopefully you all can agree and you see this vertical line that we went over in the price action this vertical line is a separation between the downtrend and and the uptrend okay and it only separates it like right in the middle let me just kind of erase it so everyone can see it so you can you can see the rsi right here and if you can imagine this this imaginary line that i'm going to put back on the chart but i just want everyone to kind of see the rsi clean and crisp there's an imaginary line right in the middle 4401 okay that's the rsi okay so let's just pull everything back up so this vertical line separates the downtrend from the uptrend okay and it the separation is right here at 4401 just this white line hope you guys can see that let's maybe i can make it like a different color let's leave it white for now okay now let's start over here with the downtrend the rsi obviously i mean the price action is obviously going down okay this this kind of this area right here when the rsi kind of starts out back in uh, what do we say like june july 2020 
it's in a downtrend and when the R starts RSI starts to get up in the warning area, that means the downtrend is probably going to take a shift uh, within the within a within a reasonable amount of times. Okay, but that's just a warning. That's why it says warning because when the RSI finally as it as it battles to break above the 4401 level and it finally breaks above that 4401 level. Let me erase that. Maybe you can see it a little better. After it finally breaks above that 4401 level on the RSI, it is officially in an uptrend within the green box, and that's good because it'll continue to be in an uptrend as long as the RSI stays above this 4401 level right there because that separates the uptrend from the downtrend. Now, as we just made an example here in this warning area, okay, the same thing is applied, the same thing applies to the opposite direction. Notice the RSI starts to get within the warning area when it's in a downtrend. The warning is the downtrend is probably going to stop and it's going to start to go into an uptrend. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? So in other words, if we start to see the RSI, the RSI is just this little, little yellow squiggly lines. If we start to see the RSI get into the warning area, that means it's going to take a shift in whatever direction it's in. Right now, Dogecoin is in an uptrend, yes? So it appears that the RSI is starting to get in the warnings area, okay? So this means that Dogecoin may be in jeopardizing its uptrend right now or soon uh, because the RSI is starting to dip within the warning area, okay? But notice back when, let me just kind of pull everything up. Notice that it spent some time uh, breaking into the warning area before it actually took a shift, okay? So it was kind of breaking above that area and then it actually broke above it officially and that's when the path turned green. Hopefully you guys are, you're with me when you guys actually see that, right? I think you guys are with me, I think you get it, okay? And then it actually started to start this beautiful, very aggressive uptrend. So essentially what I'm saying here is the same thing applies. Dogecoin appears to be getting in the warning area as it did back when the trend shifted from a downtrend to an uptrend. We have to expect the same rules to apply that Dogecoin is now in an uptrend. It could be taking a shift to a downtrend if the RSI continues to dip below within the warning area. But again, I don't think it's going to be an immediate shift. Even if Dogecoin is going to shift from an uptrend to a downtrend, it will take some time. This is not a video saying that Dogecoin is about to turn into a downtrend. This is a video suggesting that Dogecoin is dipping the, the RSI within an area that was in, that's within the downtrend. I can't make that up. We just showed you guys an example that if the RSI is below the 4401 level and it starts to dip below within the warning area, this is an indication that whatever trend it's in, and right now it's in an uptrend, this is an indication that the trend may be taking a shift when the RSI gets below and stays below the 4401 level. It's the same thing that applies back back when the uh, downtrend turned into an uptrend. Really simple, guys. Hopefully, this was a useful uh, video. Let me know if this made sense down in the comment section. Um, um, let me know if everything was pretty much clear. Um, I took some time to make this. It didn't take that long, but I, I think this is a really interesting, clean setup. Uh, for everyone to understand. Again, let me know down in the comment section. I won't take any more of your time. Thank you for your time. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content, if you found any valuable information, if this was pretty interesting with the RSI. Have you ever seen anything like this? Uh, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be uh, the start of a downtrend on the Dogecoin cryptocurrency? Again, this isn't like a, a video saying that it's going to go down. Uh, we have been following BTC very closely. It appears that BTC is under some pressure. Obviously, the, the bigger cryptocurrency if it's going to start going down then more likely than not the smaller altcoins including dogecoin whether it's a small or big doge uh, cryptocurrency or not it's likely they will follow suit uh, under normal circumstances let's see what happens again thank you for your time take care of yourselves and also if before you go if you're new we cover the traditional markets if you're into like stocks we actually cover that throughout the week it gets very interesting i'll, I'll, I'll warn you for, for first and forehand before you uh subscribe but and nevertheless, um, it's all in good intentions when we put out content on the channel. So uh, that's it, guys. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolios. Execute your strategies. We're going to talk very soon. And bye for now.